Here are four graphs, all showing the same set of results. What's different between each one is the scale. This one on the right makes it much easier to see what's going on. So how do you know what scale to use? You need coins. To be more specific, you need the values that you're going to find on coins. 1, 2, 5, 10, 20, 50 and 100. Before we use these values, we're going to have to set up the axes on our graph. To do that, with your ruler, draw a straight line on both edges, then put a mark next to each thick line on both sides. We need some results from an experiment. What about an experiment to see how the number of bubbles of methane gas affects the height of the flame? The independent variable is the number of bubbles of methane, and that goes on the x-axis. If we look at the results table, the smallest number of bubbles was 20, and the largest was 120. So we need to make sure our scale includes both of those numbers. And this is where the coins come in. The first number we're going to try counting up in is 2s. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. No, didn't get there. 5s. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Closer, but we haven't got to 120 yet. 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 20, 30, 40. Done it. That scale covers from 20 all the way to 120, so we're going to go up in tens. The height of the bubbles is going to be our dependent variable. Now the scale for this is much trickier. First thing to know is we're going to use the mean value and not the repeat readings. If we use the same trick as earlier, it looks like we need to go up in ones. But if we do that, it means all of our results are going to be squeezed into this little area on the graph. And that's not right. The first trick is to use an axis break. What we do is we take the axis and we squish it down like this. And that lets us start at whatever number we like and go up in whatever scale we like. In this example, 1.09 is the lowest value. So we'll start just below that at 1. The second trick is we can put as many zeros as we like before or after the number from our coin. So if we started with a five pence piece, we can go up in fives, fifties, five hundred, five hundred thousands, five hundred millions. Or we can put the zeros before and go up in 0.5s or even 0.0000005s. As long as it's just the number from a coin and zeros. Let's apply this to our graph. We need to get from 1 to 2.49. So we could try going up in 0.1s. 1, 1.1, 1, 1. 1. 2, 0. 0.3, 0. 0.4, 0. 0.5, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.7, 0. 0.8. Didn't get there. What to try next? Well, what about 0.2s? 1, 1.2, 1.4, 1.6, 1.8, 2, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.